What's up? YouTube Tech Guy Hodger here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the new column view in Tweetbot for the Mac. So as you might be aware Tweetbot is available for the Mac and in the update they pushed out today the biggest feature that I found to be very interesting is the new column view. Now some people may not know how to enable the column view because I found it a bit challenging myself. So in this video I'll be showing you how you can do that. So if we open up Tweetbot, as you can see this is the main interface you see when you mainly open up Tweetbot. Now when I first opened this up and tried getting column view I thought it might be in the preferences but this was not to be the case. So the way to get the column view is Basically, so say for example, you want a separate column for all your mentions, you'd click on the mentions tab on the single column interface and then you'd go on to the bottom right, click this little gear knob icon, click on that and then you will click on where it says open in new window and then it pops it out of the main interface into its own little column and then it's just a case of dragging it to the corner of the first column. So now you've made two columns. So let's do this again so we can make a third column and what I will do is make a separate column for my profile. Some people might want this because they want to see how many tweets they've tweeted, how many followers they've gained or lost in some cases and just other information they can gather from viewing their profile in general. So again we've clicked on the profile tab and then again bottom right open a new window, it pops out into a new window, drag it from the top drop it into the column and there you've made your third column. Now this does stick, it does not change in any way. So if you've seen TweetDeck it's kind of the same kind of layout. So if we now quit TweetBot completely you do not need to worry because your layout has been saved. So again like I said if we open TweetBot now all your columns are saved and they are there for you to get back into your workflow. This is a very good feature for power users so you can obviously check your timeline but you've always got your mentions open so you can always keep track of all your mentions and your profile or in other cases you might want to put all your favorites in that column or you could have a separate column for everything so you can get a quick look at everything all in one go but that's obviously if your screen supports it like if your screen's big enough. So this was just a quick video to help those guys that want the column view but might be struggling on how to get it. So I hope this video has helped and seeing as we're on the topic of Twitter, why don't you follow me at TechGuyHodget and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you again another time in another video. Take care.